Hi, this is Brian Hyerson. I'm a trainer at the Computer Workshop. Uh, welcome back to another little tutorial. This time I thought I'd take a look at the problem of having an image in Word where I have a background that I'd like to get rid of. I'd also like that text to wrap around it a little bit more efficiently or a little bit for a better look and feel. So to start with, I've already inserted an image here. You can see I've got the books and I, I really don't want the background. I don't need the uh, legal pads underneath so much. So I've got my picture. I'm going to select it. Maybe. There we go. And I'm going to use my picture tools. So as soon as we select that, the formats options are available here. And I'm going to use the very first button, which is to remove the background. So what happens is everything that's pink or magenta is actually going to get erased from the image. Up in my uh, ribbon, I have two buttons that I'm really going to be working with. One here is to mark areas to keep and the other is to mark areas to remove. Now in this case, I got most of my books, but I need to add some more to that. So I'm going to add more areas to keep. So selecting that, I'm now going to have a little pencil icon and I'm going to draw a line over the area that I want to include. So I just keep going around, kind of get that roughed in. And you'll notice things change and move. Sometimes I'm going to have that little tiny edge there I got to work on. And again, you know, the, the joy of drawing freehand with a mouse is no less fun here as it is in other applications. But slowly but surely we work our way through and we get that and we add those in. And if we have an oops where we grab too much, we can go ahead and switch to the areas to remove tool right up here and say, well, you know what, I'm going to take this area out and get rid of that. So for now, I'm good to go with this. This is kind of what I was looking for. And back up above, I'm simply going to go ahead, going to go ahead here and click Keep Changes. And there it is. Now that's pretty good, but I've got all this extra space I don't need, and it's just a lot of clutter. So I am going to continue to resize this and shape, the, cut this down a little bit with some cropping. Again, I'm still on that Picture Tools Format tab. I'm going to come all the way over here into the Size group at the far right end of this and click the Crop button. I'm not interested in the drop down. I'm going to just bring this in. I don't want that scalloped edge at the bottom, so I'm just going to kind of cut that right out of the image. Again, I'll just cut that a little closer. And uh, I think I'm good like that. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to click on the crop button to disengage that. And you can see it's now cropped. I've got the image down to what I want. Now when I insert the image, the image is going to be treated as if I had typed that in as a character when I was writing this text. And I actually want the text to move around this. So when that image is selected, I'm going to have this new little icon appear right up here. These are my layout options. Clicking on this, I can see right here it's set to be in line with text. And I'm going to go ahead and make this go either square, and you see that leaves all that space there unaltered or unmodified. I'm going to actually use tight and let the text actually wrap around that shape a little bit more. If I'm kind of happy with that, but I want to get a little bit more control, you'll see at the bottom of the layout options a show or see more button, which will take me into the layout tools where I can go ahead and bring up text wrapping. Now, as much as I wish that when I made changes here, I could see those changes reflected instantly in my document, I kind of have to guess. So right now I've got left and right, top and bottom here, and I'm going to go ahead and increase my left to 2.2 of an inch. Uh, right, I'm going to go to 0 0.2 of an inch. I'm okay with there not being really much space on the bottom. On the top, I'm going to make that go to a point two also. Again, I'm just guessing right now. I'm going to click OK. All right, I think that point two on the top is a little bit too much. So I'm okay with here on the right. And now that it's actually not treated as in line, as I move this around, you can see how that 
is going to allow the text to really roll around that image anywhere I put it in my document. So if I move it there, that actually worked out really nicely. But if I wanted to continue to make adjustments, I just go back to that layout options. I go back into that see more, back to my text wrapping. And let's say I'm going to take this top. I'm going to bring that down to point 0.1. I'm going to click OK. I'm not going to see much of a change in this instance until I raise that up a little higher. And you can see how it's going to impact that. But I can just kind of move it around and, and get it to the place that I like it to be. Now, there's one more thing I want to look at here in this layout options and these two radio buttons. I can choose to move this with the text or I can say that this is a fixed position on the page. If I set this to move with text as it is here and I'm going to just come up and click at the end of the paragraph above that and I'm going to just tap enter you'll see that the thing the image moves in relation with my text it's just really a great feature because a lot of the times we're going to put images in and they have relation to the text that we're putting next to it. So having the image stay in one place as we add text doesn't quite make sense all the time. So having that set to the default move with text is pretty awesome. Although sometimes that image needs to sit right there on the page and the text is going to go around it and flow without impacting that. So again, I'm going to select this image. I'm going to go to my layout options. I'm going to change the radio button choice here to fixed page or six sorry fixed position on page coming up above adding in some extra spaces and you can see how that is going to make that move so that's the end of this little tutorial I hope that you found this to be useful and if you did please uh, go ahead and do us a favor subscribe to our site come back in and check us out we do try and put videos out every week uh, so we hope to see you again. We hope you subscribe and until next time have a great rest of your day